Hi guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. So I did a little one today which has already been uploaded and I thought I'd follow up with the second one as I got the kit out. So what I've done, I've dug out the old Esbit um, stroke hexamine cooker, uh, the new issue one, the folding one. And I've also put a military dragon gel cooker up against it. And I decided to try and compare the two, see which fuel works better to heat your water in a mess tin. So here's the video. See what you think. Hi guys, Mickey here, Hampshire Outdoors of Survival. So here's one for you guys. A comparison test. New Fire Dragon Gel Cook Set is issued to the British Army. Hexamine Cook Set as issued to, I believe this one's a French one, but again, it's a NATO Hexamine Kit. Two mess tins exactly the same size, both with the same amount of water. Let's see how these military systems do. And I do apologise about the background noise if you can hear it. Unfortunately they're doing some roadworks and they've just tipped up. So I'm not going to stop because I'm that sort of guy. Okie doke. 300 mils in that one. Three hundred mils in that one. Okay, they've both got the same amount of water in the mess tins. Okay, and they're both the same size mess tins. Make this fair. So let's have a look at these kits. Right, I've already opened it because I've used it before, um, demonstrated it to somebody, but pretty much it comes in a resealable pack like that. So don't tear the top off. Um, it is actually resealable and it will stop the hexamine from stinking you out. The hexy comes in this little block here and you get six tabs. You will also get windproof matches in there and you get the stove. And the stove comes as a little tin thing like that. It's quite a simple stove. Those two bend down. Those two bend up. Okay. Now. These can bend round to make wind breaks for your cook set, okay? Or you can turn it up the other way and have a smaller pot stand. Now, downside of this, you've got to make sure and get it right. You've got to make sure and get it right so it doesn't become tippy, okay? It tends to work better that way. And we'll take a standard mess tin. Okay, that's one system. Downside of this system, it wants the small hexy block. Okay, and in fact, no, you will get two on there. So we'll go with two again, because that's about the size of the old British military hexamine tablet, um, which is what I base, what I'm used to off of. None of these newfangled European things for me, I tell you. Okie doke, so, Fire Dragon Gel, got some other kit in there which I'll just take out, so the Fire Dragon Gel tin cooker, comes like that, very similar to the old Hexi cooker, yeah, very very similar, um, sits flat on the deck, goes like that, can take one, two, three of the fire gels in it, and it closes up and stores them, so, there's three heats in that, okay. I uh, take it then what you'll get issued with is the replacement gels, not the cooker, because the cooker's quite well made. So what we'll do, we'll take the dragon gel out, place that in the centre of the cooker, dispose of that. Place these two side by side. You're going to notice one thing straight away, and that is the dragon gel will light almost instantly. That is lit. The hexamine takes a little bit more lighting, and if it's windy, it can be a pain in the bum. So let's put 
that on the hexamine. Let's put that on there. Right. Let's see one of the, which one of these heats my water the fastest. Now, the difference between oh, the hexy stinks. The difference between time and cook on these systems and using my little bug out stove is the container. So the equivalent amount of water spread over a larger area with a pan in a shallower mode. It's going to heat faster. If you put a, if you have a big pan over the ring with a quarter of an inch of water in it spread over the whole pan, heats fast. If you put that whole lot of that water then into a tin mug, it creates a pillar. The water at the top is going to take longer to heat because the heat's got to transfer all the way up through that water. A little bit of physics for you. So we'll see which one of these does best. I can already see a flame licking around the side from the hexi. The dragon gel is going to burn longer. Now the reason it, well, it's going to burn longer in this system than it did in my little cook stove, again because the, hex, uh, the fire gel is held in a trough, it's a narrower, deeper trough. It can't spread out into a thin mass that's going to burn off rapidly. But again, it'll be interesting to see which one of these two is quicker or more efficient. Right guys, we're nearly there. Right, two small observations. One, I've noticed that yes, the hexamine does heat it faster and has got it hotter. However, when the wind blows on that little cooker, takes the heat away, that cools down quite fast. The BBC, uh, BCB stove is a little bit more wind resili resilient. So, it's uh, it's less affected by the wind. Both of these, pretty much, I would say, are, are much of a much. They're pretty much on par. Okay? I would say the hexamine has just got the edge. Just got the edge. But that's two tabs. And with the French kit, you're only supposed to put one tab on at a time. Um, I'll see if I can get some English tabs, or the old tabs, and see which one's better. Um, the hexamine is now cooling. Okay, it seems to be losing its heat. There's no bubbling on the bottom. The dragon gel has still got a layer of bubbles on the bottom. So neither of them came fully to a boil. Um, yeah, odds of an odds. I'd say pretty much it, they're both on par with one another. To be honest with you. I would say there is just a very small amount in it. The hexamine comes quicker to the boil. The fire gel seems to be holding it for longer and more efficiently. Right, I don't think we're going to get much more heat out of those. Let's have a look, see what we've got left on the cookers. So hexamine, obviously, two tabs. That was to equate to a what would have been a single UK tab. And the fire gel. And the fire gel, in its little trough, as we, we, we thought, seems to be burning for longer. Flame size is slightly larger. Oh, we'll see which one of these goes out first, although I think I can pretty much tell straight away. There we go. Right guys, the hexamine is out. The dragon gel has still got 
a little bit of heat on it okay not a lot it isn't going to last much longer but it has outlasted the two examine tablets okay now as you'll see got a residue left on the the hexi stove okay that's uh not that's always been the way um, but it can be scraped off it can be cleaned up not a problem at all um, this dragon gel I'm just going to let it burn itself out completely in fact it's almost there it's just a flicker right blow that out one of the... no actually do you know what it's not as sticky as nasty as I thought it was going to be it solidifies almost straight away I can't Yeah, you're not going to get the residue on you. It uh, it cools very, very fast once it's gone out. However, when it is burning, the way it's bubbling and that, uh, I've just got a, a funny feeling that whilst it's burning, if you get it on you, it's going to stick. Anyhow, so there we go. BCB, Fire Dragon Gel and Cooker as issued to the British Army. Esbit, or Hexamine Stove, as issued to the French Army. Now last final thoughts hexi stove or the fire gel stove can be collapsed down taken away it's quite sturdy i think that would take a bit of a bee sting okay little french cooker okay don't so you're going to have to flatten that back out which it does quite readily Although I don't think you're going to be able to do that repeatedly. Yeah, I think that could become an issue. So, there we go. Hexi stoves. Dragon gel. I think that was a fair test. Guys, if you like that, please like, subscribe, share. Come over and see us Sunday night, 20 hundred hours for our live chats. Um, this week we're going to be covering survival kits, but every week we cover, cover a different subject and occasionally I'll even tell you a, a tale of the old and the bold. So anyhow guys, take care, look after yourselves, stay safe, have your adventures, okay? Hope this helps you. Love those you do, forgive those you don't, and as always... Bye.